podcast on the Allen Theater and MJ's Coffee House. Enjoy! This is the front of the Allen Theater in MJ's Coffee House, nestled in a popular Anvil Street in Pennsylvania. The theater has been in business for 15 years. Before it was called the Allen Theater, it is believed that in the early 1900s it was called the Hippodrome. In the 1930s it was called the Astor and expanded into the building size that it is now. Shown here is the star that is in front of the theater for Mary Jane Hicks. She had benefactored the Allen Theater and MJ's Coffee House. The coffee house was named in her honor when she passed away May 18, 2006. The inside of the theater is very classy. However, in the 1970s, the theater had a different owner and used real X-rated films. The theater was closed in the 1980s due to poor maintenance and religious production issues. The owners, Skip and Martha, had to totally re-renovate the building when they bought it. This was a process that took three years to complete. The theater was finally reopened on September 21st, 1995. As you can see, the inside of MJ's Coffee House is very personalized to create a casual, friendly environment. The mural to the far left was painted specifically by an artist for MJ's Coffee House. Skip and Martha were both retired teachers when they first started the Allen Theater, and Skip also worked as a Hershey greeter. The coffee house menu is painted by an artist also. Instead of the original popcorn and soda selections you usually find in movie theaters, the Allen Theater also has pastries, cakes, and coffee for their guests at the theater, adding to its unique qualities. There is lots of sitting room for guests at MJ's Coffee House so that everyone can be comfortable. This is also where live poetry readings and musical performances occur. This shows how much the theater has grown since its creation all the way in the early 1900s.